Hey, welcome to the channel with the Fragrance Ninja. Hey, coming at you today with something that's well overdue. And I like to look at this as my favorite hot weather fragrances. Warm weather, hot weather. And when I say hot weather, I mean, I feel like I'm the hot weather aficionado living in Texas. So I'm talking 95 degrees plus. And when we think of 95 degrees plus, ideally those fragrances tend to be citrus fragrances or soapy clean fragrances with a little bit of woods. And so I'm kind of just gonna freestyle this like a out of work wrapper, wrap it on the street corner. So I'm just gonna freestyle this crap. Uh, to start with, one of my favorites I go to is Bergamot 22. Now Bergamot 22, really, really bright. Actually the first two that I'm going with I mean, these are so bright in the opening, you gotta put on sunglasses just to spray them. I mean, just bright, beautiful, citrus. I've learned something about myself in citruses as well, but I'll get to that in another video. But I love the lemony, basic, uh, basically uh, grapefruit, uh, bergamot type of citrus. So it was real tart citruses. I really like those, especially in high heat. Bergamot 22, I need to get a real bottle of this, by the way. Next is something, I don't know why the heck I hadn't even talked about it yet, but Zerjoff Neo. I can't believe I've never talked about this. This is very, very bright on the opening and one of the best round, well-rounded fragrances when it comes to citrus and woods. Perfectly balanced, perfectly blended. The old school, beautiful bottle. I like these old bottles better than the new ones. Great stuff, love it. Next, those are really, really bright citruses. I'm gonna go to two soapy cleans. And to start with, one of my old school favorites, Gendarme, the EDP concentration. This one, really, really soapy, fresh out of the shower smell. I mean, it smells like a naked showered person. Great, great stuff. And also, if you look at a previous video I'd done about Topper Schroeder, the creator of this fragrance, and my encounter with him when Christmas called him, well, he passed away uh, November before last. So RIP to one of the great creators of a great fragrance. Next, one of my really go-tos for golfing, things like that, just soapy clean, and Creed Original Vetiver. Soapy clean, woods, still a bright opening. Lasting power is pretty good still. Oh my goodness, I love this. This arguably is amongst my top five Creeds that I really, really love. And surprisingly, it doesn't make everybody's list, but this is amongst my top five. I really love this especially when it's hot enough just to boil the sweat off your ass. It's so hot. You ever seen the people with the hole in the top of the head, a little hole in their natural? Yeah, that was Texas heat. Just cooked that shit out. Yeah, it just took it out for them. But the last two I want to look at is Mansira Solio Diatali. Now these last two, to me, balance perfectly the woods with the citrus and the soapy, all three of them combined into one. So the second two were really soapy. The first two were really bright citrus. These just encompass all of it. Soapy, citrus, and woodsy. So Leo, so Leo d'Italie, this is great. And I love that little soft sprayer there. That's a good sprayer. And man, that's a good fragrance. I love the magnetic cap, caps too. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, maybe even the best. Nobody really talks about this enough to me, but this is one of my absolute favorite warm weather fragrances. And this, I'm not gonna say signature, but yeah, yeah, signature. I, actually, I wear it anytime, but when it's really hot outside, I really wear this as one of my go-tos for the uniqueness of a citrus, as well as a soapy clean, and it's just, it's great. It's really great. 
um, and that is Olfactor Studio, Still Life. Not Still Life in Rio, Still Life. When I think about Still Life in Rio, I think about the JV. I think about the Junior Varsity. This is Varsity. This is all-star game here in my eyes. This bubbly yuzu at the beginning, and I know what you're thinking, how the hell could a fragrance smell bubbly? Try it, try it, and you'll understand. Like Sprite on your skin, just bubbling off. I mean, oh man, this is good. This is what I really like, and I've used actually a decent amount consider my collection but still life and real and of course I'm bringing it in the top 06 when I say I don't do top fives I do top 06 top six fragrances and honestly that's my top six when it comes to summertime that is what I go to you know when really it gets really cooking here in Texas which is in about a minute it'll happen soon miserably enough but on a side note, one thing that you can use with all these fragrances to give it that extra oomph and even add a little floral to it, and which I've been doing a lot lately over the last week or two, was Molecule 01 Plus Iris. It goes with these fragrances perfectly. Gives them extra longevity, extra projection, adds a little floral aspect to it that blends with it perfectly. And I've been playing around with this and yeah, if you're a compliment whore, go for it. It's all you. Hey, that's all I got until next time. Y'all be good.